<laughs> yeah. Woo. All right. So, um, you guys, people don't know uh, the song. Apologize. That's that's what you sing. Because you know, a lot of people get so busy sometimes and hear songs on the radio. They don't know who's singing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you don't just show up, right? And you're like, <clears throat> we have the song. Apologize. We'd like for Timberland to remix it and. Well, wow. it'd, be, it'd and, be great if it was that easy. Right. easy. That, actually, we should have just tried that <laughs> however many years ago. We, we should have just been that bold. We did to, not uh, win American Idol, despite what people think. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think of American Idol, by the way? I don't think of it. No. <laughs> uh, I don't think of it. Um, uh, we, I've never seen it. No. I, I've actually, I, I've, uh, you know, I have, uh, there's definitely some truly talented people, I honestly think, that have, that have mm -hmm. come from American Idol. Uh, and I've had a chance to meet some of them, work with some of them, and, and um, but I've, I've never, the actual show itself, I've maybe seen one episode right. in, in five years. Because when we were starting as a band, that's when that show started, and it kind of represented everything that we were against. Mm -hmm. So it, at first, I think when you're in a band, you it's a different dynamic. It's, and so, it's like a faux pas to really love American Idol if you're trying to make music. You know what, I, though? It's like if I, if I, was, <coughs> if I was 30 years old, and had been a solo artist and had been trying my whole life and mm -hmm. I lived in Waco, Texas, you better believe my ass would be in line auditioning for trying to do that. I, 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 I love that it gives people a shot that had never had a shot. I actually had a conversation about American Idol and you guys a few months ago and it was the concept because you know you had obviously you were on Columbia, mm -hmm. is that right? And then you know you had this friendship uh, working relationship with Timbaland and so a lot of people thought oh Timbaland just jumped on and that's why it happened for them. And I thought, well, you know, I said, that's a good thing, but it's the same thing, like, if you look at American Idol, yeah. like, how many of those kids they put on TV every week for three months, and still they're not around because that opportunity has to be met with talent at you the same to, time. You have to capitalize it, and it has to be met with, most importantly, songs. Mm -hmm. And uh, you live and die by songs, no matter how talented you are. There are artists out there that I love that will never sell more than 100,000 records because they, they don't write, you know... Songs. Stuff that's commercially viable, yeah, they, they, they work songs, right. you know. They, um, but they, there's still, there's still art, you know, out there uh, to be found. I, I do think a lot of the American Idols, who have won, or even gotten second or third place, like yeah, you don't hear about them anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that the show, just like anything, has probably peaked. I think it's still viable, but I think it's peaked. And uh, you know, what do I know? I don't, I don't watch it. But mm -hmm. I, I, I have this. I'm just watching, you know, television and stuff. You kind of hear that it's the ratings are down, and you know, mm -hmm. it is what it is. But you know, we got we got since you've been gone out of it. That's true. Yeah. Which I think is the best pop song. It's, it's, one of the best yeah, pop songs true. ever written. One of the best since 2000. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I I listened to it. Press I actually one. listened to it in the uh, the shower. Yeah. You listen to it in the shower? I, I did. I did <laughs> last since week. you've been gone, scrubbing yourself <laughs> with the loofah. Yeah. So so with that, we're talking to one. Republic.